are customers, most of them, again, they're walking in, but most of them have seen you on the internet. So again, find out from them right away, where did you see us on the internet? What sources did you use? Okay. What type of inf information is gonna influence car shoppers? Let's talk about the consumer decision-making process. So these are all things going through a customer's head when they're shopping for a car. Okay. And the reason I'm telling you this is not because it's <coughs> necessarily just because it's interesting, but because, again, I want you to think about the information at your website. If I come to your website, <coughs> am I gonna get answers to some of these questions? Because I know these are some, some questions that you'd talk to people about if they came into your store, right? Should I leave, should I buy, you know? Is it really true if I wait till the end of the month I'm gonna get a better deal? What car, new, used, I, I really don't know which way to go. Those are all things you can discuss at the dealership, but if you wait until then, it's too late. You've gotta start at your websites. This is the place to start having this discussion. Okay, so you really have to influence, again, these customer decisions. That's what your online advertising how do we do this? Okay, it's really about building value through merchandising. And again, these were some of your priorities. You want to know how to properly price your online inventory. You said you want to utilize more third-party providers like AutoTrader, Auto, and you want to implement and purchase uh, and pricing strategies specifically designed to position our dealership competitively in our marketplace. I'm going to start with this first one, properly price my online inventory. Okay, it's really easy to, to know if you're priced competitively. And that's what customers are looking for. Sure, we're in the car business. Customers want to feel, feel they're getting a deal. But that's an advantage for us as the car dealer now. That's what the internet's done for us. There's so much transparency that when a customer does a search for the car, there are a lot of cars that come up and they're within the same price range generally, right? I mean, if it's the exact same car or around the same mileage, very close in price, okay? Now, when it's certified, that could be a little bit different. If the dealer's using, you know, some crazy pricing strategy, that should be something else, too. But make sure you price it fairly. That's what a customer expects. A customer wants a good service, and they want a fair price. Okay, they don't, again, customer, again, they already think that we're going to try to pull something on them, right? I mean, I used to work at a car dealership. I know. 